Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can add tabs and accordions to your WordPress website with the help of Elementor Page Builder. Besides Elementor, we will need JetTabs plugin that you can get if you follow the link in the description down below. Also, you can get it totally for free inside Monster 2 WordPress theme. You can also get to know more about this theme in the description under this video. So by the end of this tutorial, you will know how you can create these accordions and these tabs. They're extremely easy to create. You only need two widgets, one widget for accordions and one widget for tabs. And there is also an option to create image accordions that we're also going to have a look at. All right, so now let's delete everything we've got here and start off from scratch. Let's search for the tabs widget. You've also got the tabs and accordion widgets inside Jet Elements plugin, which is another plugin by the same developers and which also goes inside Monster to WordPress theme absolutely for free. But the one that we need now is called tabs and it looks like this and this is a part of Jet Tabs plugin. So drop it here into a new section. And you see that you've got a style preset and in the content tab under the items tab, you've got a list of items. Every single item defines what you've got inside your tab. So the most important thing you will need to know is that in order to display some information inside a tab, you will need to create a template and then assign this template to a tab. So now let me quickly jump in the WordPress dashboard and show you where you can find uh, these templates. You go to Elementor and you go to My Templates. And here you create uh, the template that you want to display inside your tab. I have created three of them beforehand. You see them, here they go. And it is really easy, simply drag in the content with Elementor Page Builder and you've got your template ready. Now let's get back to our tabs, let's add a template and start what styling options and settings we've got. So here under the choose template option you go to select and you select the template that you want to display inside this tab. Let me go ahead and fill in these tabs with the templates. Here we go, now we've got the content inside the tabs. And let's have a look at what settings every single item has inside. So first that you see is active. If you toggle this option to yes, this particular tab that you have chosen as active will be opened at the moment when user first sees this module. All right, so I've chosen the tab number two to be active and now it is opened even before we started clicking on the tabs. By the default, within the tabs widget, the first tab will be opened. The next one is use image. If you toggle this one to yes, you'll be able to use an image instead of this icon. Let me show you. So you go and you choose the image. Let it be this one. And here you see that it is now displayed over here, right next to the name of the title. Later in the cell tab, in the cell settings, you'll be able to add a gap between them so they look a little more nice. Let's actually leave it there so later I can show you the cell settings for the image. The next there goes the label and you can change it to the one that you like more. And you've got all the same settings for every single item in a tab. You see that you're not limited by three of them. You can go ahead and add more tabs just up to the number that you are satisfied with. So now let's go to the settings tab. Here you can choose the animation effect with which you'll be switching between the tabs. So now it's move up, it can be fade, zoom in, zoom out, you know, you can go ahead and explore them all. Then we can choose the tabs event. For now I can switch between the tabs on click of my mouse, but if I choose hover, the tabs will be changing each other once I hover over them. 
So now I'm not clicking, I'm just hovering. And you see that the tabs are changing each other. So here it goes. And the auto switch is an option that allows the tabs to switch by themselves. And here is the auto switch delay. And if you go to the style tab, you'll be able to style the look of the entire module of the wrapper specifically. And you can choose the position of the tabs. For now, it is at the top. If you choose left, they will be on your left. Here it goes. And on the right as well. So you see that you've got really a lot of interesting options at where you can place these tabs. So tabs control. These show the alignment of the tabs, which is the background type. In brief, the tabs control are these tabs at the top, meaning the background and the container for the labels. And tabs control item is specifically the label and the icon or the image, depending on what you choose. So here it goes, image width, meaning the size of the image. So we can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. The position of the icon or the image, respectively. And here you can add the margin. And if you add the margin at the right, let's say 10, you'll add a gap between the image and the label. And it looks way more nice for now. And here goes the state styles, which is normal, hover, active. You can change the styles for every single state, like the color, topography settings, size, etc. And the tabs content. Here you can change the settings and the look of the container of the template in here. Okay, it was it for tabs. And we can move on to the accordion. In order to use the widget from the Jet Tabs package, you need to search for the classic accordion widget over here and you drop it onto a new section. And you see that it looks slightly different, but there is still the same process you need to go through. You create templates and you assign templates to the toggles. In this case, they are called toggles. So here we go. I have added the templates to every single toggle. And you have pretty much the same settings and pretty much the same content that you did inside the tabs items in here. But here you can assign two icons. One icon will be when the toggle is closed and the other icon will be visible when the toggle is opened, like when it is active. Here it's called active icon. Right, like so. And you also can change the label. And there's also this option called active and it works just the same way as it did in the tabs module. Because when you toggle it to yes, it means that this particular toggle will be opened even before the user does anything and clicks somewhere on this module. It will be opened right away, right from the start. All right, so now you see that you can open multiple toggles at once. And you can change that in this settings tab. You simply need to toggle the collapsible option to yes. And this will mean that the user cannot open more than one toggle at a time. And here you just simply change the animation effect. And the cell settings contain pretty much the same settings as you can meet here in the tabs module. And here we go. Now we have seen how simple it is to create tabs and accordions with the help of Jet Tabs plugin for Elementor. Don't forget to go and check out Jet Tabs plugin and mastery to WordPress theme. Simply follow the links in the description under this video. I hope you liked this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another one.